Hey guys, Jasper here. In today's video, we are going to be looking at this Dell Precision All 90. So, Intel Xeon inside, um, and it was designed for Windows XP apparently. Well, we'll see if it's designed for Windows 10 later. Um, Alright, we're going to have a, look, a li little look inside. Got the Dell, the Dell way of undoing things, which is annoying. I've already had a look at this inside, so it's no surprise to me, but it will be a surprise to you, maybe. So, it's got this intelligent, like, caddy system thing. So, for a hard drive, we have... Let me unplug it. We're going to start with the normal stuff. If you're wondering where the heat sinks are, they're outside drying, or on the radiator, rather. So, we've got a Samsung 160 gig hard drive. Shouldn't be too bad for what we're going to do with it. Fortnite, nothing. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna see if this thing will run Fortnite. This is gonna be very interesting, as it's a f pretty much 15 year old machine. Um, it'll be surprising if it actually does run Fortnite. So for the graphics, we have. Hang on. Undo that. Apparently, live sale when you got a Dell. I disagree. No need to undo that latch. Right, so we've got a Quadro card. Ooh, that bearing. Listen to it. Yeah, that's done a lot of uh, revolutions, obviously. Uh, so we have a... Let's look at the focus. Quadro FX 3500. I've looked these up. It's a 256 megabyte card. So let's next we're gonna check the RAM. I've already checked the RAM out. It's got eight gigabytes of fully buffered workstation DDR2 RAM. I'm sure I'm sure that's DDR2. Um I mean look how old this PC is so old. It's gotta be DDR2. Um I've put the paste on the CPUs, it had two. Dual core Xeon 2.66 gigahertz in there, so that makes it a quad core. Um, that's eight gigabytes there, so two, four, six, eight. Yeah, eight gigs. So that's not too bad actually, especially if it was like back in its day. That must have been quite a fast machine. Uh, it will probably be alright for Windows 10, I suppose. So what we're going to do is we're going to boot it up. It may have an OS on it. Uh, it may not. We're going to find out. I'm just going to move the Z600 out of the way. Get this thing booted up. Let's see what it does. Any signs of life? Is the card dead? Is it good? Please be good. Yes! Let's go! The Dell, the 14 year old Dell, runs. Not even loud either. F1 to continue. There we go. Has it gone up? You what the? It's got Windows 10 already? Damn, boy. This thing's been updated. I was hoping it was it had like Windows XP and stuff. But no, it's already got Windows 10 on it. If it's got a password, that's going to be annoying. But if it's just a quick sign-in thing, then that'd be great. Okay, well, we'll start restart for you. Well, thank you. We see a problem then, already. We're gonna have to reinstall Windows, I think. Okay, so we need to reinstall Windows, rip. This is a, this is a IDE drive, by the way. Good news is, we've uh, installed Windows 7 on this. Uh, the bad news is, I cannot get driver support for the, um, what's it called, NVIDIA Quad Dry FX 3500 for Windows 10, though it is available for Windows 7, so you know what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to switch up the OS a little. Oh, 
Oh, that's better. Windows 7 it is. Um, so now I can install this graphics card and have the support because uh, it doesn't support Windows 10, but Windows 7 does support it. So what we're going to do is um, turn it off and uh, get that all done. But um, we've also changed the hard drive because the old hard drive was toast. It just simply wouldn't boot into Windows 7, just didn't like it. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it off, put the old car back in, and I'll catch you then. This is I install the uh, graphics card. Here's the inside that it looks like. Two hard drives here, caddy, just like that. So, pretty much works. It's quite stiff. Uh, dual Xeons in there. So there's two dual cores, which makes it a quad core. 2.66 gigahertz, so... It's not too slow of a machine. Eight gigabytes of buffered RAM, DDR2, and the two five six megabyte Quadro FX thirty five hundred. So guys, while I was cleaning the Dell, uh, this is one of the fans that's inside it. So this is an average fan you get, and that's the fan that's inside it. That's sits about there. Look at the size of this bad boy. That's my hand, and that's the fan. That's humongous. That is huge. Oh my days, look at the dust. Yeah, man, look at the dust in there. So I'm gonna clean that out and put it back in. And this is just a little cut out, but back to the video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it in and stuff and uh, just see what it's like to run. So, um, the PC is where my Z600 normally sits. I definitely really do like the look of the front end of these. Uh, really nice. I don't know, just really cool looking. Like, especially when it says the Intel Xeon inside, the really old way. It used to say it back in 2006. Uh, Windows XP came with, but it does support Windows 7. Uh, so we're going to be doing a turn on, a boot up, and... Uh, Watch and see if it plays YouTube and stuff. And I just want to show you the, the lights on the front. Isn't that just awesome? I just find that really cool. And I like the old BIOS as well, where it says Intel inside. That's awesome as well. This is a, like a Windows 7 boot test. So it's not too slow for a hard drive, and the age it is. And just like that, you're on your personal Windows 7 computer. This is the Dell Precision 490 from 2006, running YouTube at 1080p. And I know some modern laptops that will struggle. So, like, honestly, this is this is just a brilliant computer all round. Like, you don't need to spend that much on a Mac. You could just get one of these. No, I'm only joking. But, yeah, you could still build a computer or take an old computer that's got quite enough power, a good enough graphics card to watch YouTube at 1080p. And I tell you now, if it can do that, it will run Minecraft. We're going to try 1.0 now. 1.0 should not be a problem. It still kind of is, actually. Well, 1.0 runs, guys. You can run Minecraft 1.0 on this 15-year-old Dell. So there you have the free Dell workstation. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you want me to sell it, um, let me know in the comments. Or if you want me to keep it, let me know. Because I have people interested in this computer. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button for more notifications on videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.